folks, and welcome to the Saturday Morning Summit Flange. I'm Matt. I'm Benjamin. I'm Mikey. Emily. Yay! <laughs> There's still a girl here. Oh, wait. Still a girl. Did y'all notice, though? Did y'all notice that I didn't wait this time? It's like three weeks in a row y'all have let me here, so I'm just back really? in it. I'm just back in the middle you're of it. You're in the groove now. I am. I'm in the groove. See, okay. Yeah. Y'all, you can't get rid of me now. You're perm now. I came out of perm. the closet a long time ago, BJ. Hey. I'm going to call you Big Perm now. I mean Big Worm. Big Perm. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So, welcome back. all cooped up in Debo's chicken coop, sweating so, like a slave. <laughs> 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 all right. So we're going to do top five action uh, uh, action team from movies now. I did it from TV shows. and Or top five action butts, you know, uh, from yeah. movies. From and booty lovers in like the world. Like you, you told me last week that the top five TV ones, you were solid on. I yeah. mean, like no doubt in your mind that we were going to say anything that was going to make you change your mind. Yep. I am very solid on my action team here from movies. I don't think I can have my mind changed. Huh. But, uh, I, I mean, I'm pretty solid here. I think I have one that I can change my mind on, but... Okay. I, could, I could probably <clears throat> change my mind on, like, all five of mine if you really just talk <laughs> sweet to me. Okay. Or Say if, the right things. Offer you an M&M. Or if Paul Bettany came in here. I'd change every single one. <laughs> Paul Bettany, Paul Bettany, Paul Bettany, Paul Bettany, Paul Bettany. Done. Now, if you hear her go. start talking about a knight's tale, just know that Paul Bettany's coming up. Paul right. Paul Butney. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Benjamin, you're going to... Oh, wait. Uh, uh, crossover? Can, yeah, give us our crossover. Mm -hmm. And you're going to start us off, too, today. But. Mm -hmm. Let me look at you guys. What's the number? So, we're talking about action movies uh, with of all times. This is a vague subject. very vague. Oh, God. So, what you got? I've got to go zero. If He's going zero. Say, Emily. I'm between two and three, and my two gut and is telling three. me two. Got got telling you two. Ooh, two, one and three. Three. Boom. Going for the three. No I way. think me and you are going to have no three. Way. I think I me think and you. Have crossovers. I think me and you alone are going to have three. Dang, Here. you are so daggum right. I'm going to go. I've got you go to go. Four, I'm go ahead and tell you, I don't have a list. All right. I'm depending on Emily for that. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Then, well, of course we're going to have five crossovers <laughs> if you're depending on my list. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, uh, I, don't have, I don't have a list. I'm serious. Okay, so you're so out. I'm sharing yeah. my list with so you. So, I've yes. got to go and I one. I there was two on here that or you probably four. put. Four is Would bold. Four is pretty bold. <sighs> Dang, these I got to go one. These are amazing. These are I amazing. got to go one. It's going to be two or three. Wow. I agree with I you. I feel like me and you have two for sure, maybe I, three. I know we wow. have one. I mean, I think we have two. I think we have two. We could are have you three. Go two or four. I, I, he went one. Well, she went two. Went one. Mm -hmm. He no, went three. And I said zero. Yeah. So I got to go I'm one. I'm really amazed by y'all's huge, like, because this is a gigantic range of, of <laughs> anything, is. any movie, any action hero. Well, I kind of right. wish I had gone one now that I know that you're sharing my list with me. Well, no. He, he was my crossover. Here's my. No. Here's okay. My Do you want to switch two. with yeah, me? You, totally you want to switch one. numbers? Okay. I'm taking two. Okay. Okay. I feel more confident Good. about two, even though I think you may be right on three. Here's the Maybe. There's only one Maybe. question that I have on oh. yours. All right. So here we go. After reading mm -hmm. our list. <laughs> I think that uh, our team is going to beat your team now that I'm looking at it. Well, that's a possibility, but I don't think there's any competition. I'm, like, how do you? Sixty percent of this list was going to be Benjamin's list, probably. Well, that's true. All right, whose butt is first? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Harrison Ford. Indiana yeah, Jones. Yeah, the best. Indiana butt Jones. Brute strength. Yeah. 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 Of course, oh, yes, I have Indiana Jones. Are you serious? Of course, I have Indiana <laughs> the Jones. The very first one. Yes, I love it. I didn't. I didn't mean. I didn't. This. These aren't by any means. Like I'm gonna lose. Race. I'm gonna lose. Did you have Indiana Jones? I, it wasn't all mine. But uh, that's a crossover, and I'm gonna lose. Wait, now. this we're talking about best butts, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Paul Bettany, Harrison Ford. Wow, you said three. You're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. I think Jones. you're gonna oh, get man. it. Man, I should have right. taken back two. Yeah. But that, that was one crossover right there. So go, go ahead, Indiana Jones so for you. That's our action hero, Brute, brute Strength. Brute Strength. Just brute strength. Get and, and also, right. he can literally fight until he looks like he's about to die, and he still has more strength than him. Mm -hmm. And if there's a Nazi, <laughs> yes. a true and Nazi, he, and he, kills Nazis, he will melt their episode, faces off. <laughs> except that one episode of... With of, the power uh, of Jesus. <laughs> of Big Bang Theory, when they, they realize that Indiana Jones, whether or not he would have been in that situation with the Nazis, they would have still died. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you want to get thrown off a blimp? No ticket. Mm-hmm. Nope. All right. <laughs> no, no ticket. ticket. Only the penitent man shall pass. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so much good stuff there. All right. The breath of the Lord. All right, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, so anyway. That's such a Wait, they named the dog Indiana. Okay, so there we go. Well, I named after the dog. <laughs> oh. All right, so here we go. That, that was your first crossover. Well done. My number, my number five here. Oh no, I'm, I'm scared. I don't think you have this one, but maybe but Martin too. Blank. I don't. Okay, okay. No one has Martin Blank. Martin Blank from Gross Point Blank. No. Mm. I've never uh, seen Gross Point Blank. Boudreaux's coming for you. Oh my <laughs> goodness, Boudreaux. that's a great and movie. And it it is a it is a superior movie. It's so good. It's comedic. John Cusack mm-hmm. is an assassin who goes. John or Joan. John, uh, but Joan is in it too. She is oh, really? In it. She yes, is in Joan's it. the secretary. John goes back, or, or his name is Martin Blank. He goes back to his 10 year high school an, uh, uh, reunion, but he also has a job to do in that area. But he's holding back on that job because there's this girl that he kind of left way back in the day. That he got, it's Minnie Driver. And, She's good. you know, and then, and, and then mm-hmm. he's kind of And thinking, Dan Aykroyd's the bad guy. And Dan what? Aykroyd's the bad guy. Yes. But it's a comedy, too. Oh, okay. But it is <laughs> that makes sense, though. so, it, it is, it is the perfect, it is a perfect movie. I think it's a 10. Yeah. So really? have you, have you watched the uh, show uh, Barry? Do you know the show Barry on HBO with Bill Hader? Mm-mm. It's very <laughs> similar because he plays a, an assassin who is kind of you know existential crisis in his life and kind of wants to change. He moves to Hollywood and becomes he wants to become like a stage actor. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of interesting. But in Gross Point Blank, he does like he's like I don't really want to kill anymore. He's older. He's bored with the life, and so he tries to get out of it. But then they don't want to get him out of it. So it's but, a really kind of cool like you know because of something. M- Gross Point Blank. But because of something that happened, he has to do one job for a client who's mm-hmm. very upset. Mm-hmm. So he's going to do this one job, and it's, it just happens to be in his hometown during his 10-year high school reunion. So he doesn't want to, but he decides to go. Um, uh, who is his uh, 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 shrink? Uh, uh, no, I forgot his name now. Oh, I can see his face, too. It's not Ben Kingsley. It's um, an actor has been around oh, forever. Been anyway, it's... Hilarious. So it's P O I N T E, and so his name is Blank and Gross. It's Gross Point, Michigan. So that's where I'm he has to go to Gross. Standing Point, in my living room, or what mm-hmm. was my living room, I can't ever go home, but I can always buy groceries. <laughs> this is great. It's a great movie. Anyway, I won't ruin anything else. Martin Blank from Gross Point Blank. Go for it, Mikey. One of these guys. But we Alan Arkin. It's mm-hmm. Alan Arkin mm-hmm. who's fantastic. Oh yeah. Who's fantastic in it? Fantastic in it. All right, so who went first? You went first? She did, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I went first. My whole team. Yeah. I, I okay. want Emily for my yeah. team. That's and right, that's right, that's right. My team. Boom. So and you already hit Indiana Jones on me, so you, so you want me to go with number two? Oh, oh let's skip then. Let's do yeah. your skip right you've only, now. Y'all okay. said one, right? So go to four. Go to four. Man, yeah, yeah, gosh. Okay, uh, my mage yes. is serious Black. It's a literal <laughs> mage. <laughs> because who can beat Gary Oldman? Because he knows how to hide well, mm-hmm. and also he's amazing, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's Gary Oldman. Mm-hmm. So if I could just have the four of mine be Gary Oldman, <laughs> and mm-hmm. <laughs> different roles From he different plays, roles. like Dracula. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there Dracula, you go, Dracula. We talked about Dracula. Gary wasn't Oldman Gary Oldman a great uh, movie. Commissioner yes. Gordon too? Yes. yes. Yeah, there you go. I'm telling you, fantastic. Gary Oldman is my top five movie team. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Oldman. Mm. Didn't he? Wasn't he the kidnapper in Ransom with Mel Gibson? It's been too long. I I, I saw the movie, but it's been too long. I don't remember. It's a good movie. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But Harry Potter. Number. Come on. How do you beat a mage from Harry Potter? Actually, still one crossover. But I know. I know. I'm gonna. I'm so nervous about each one of these. I know. I'm pretty sure you don't have this one. Ethan Hunt. I do have Ethan Hunt. I knew you had Ethan Hunt. Because you're gonna because we it. love Mission Impossible. We do love Mission Impossible and Ethan. Every Hunt. single one of them. Ethan, every single oh, one. Oh man, can't wait for the new it's one. It's gonna be great. And there's another one. And there's another one. And I cannot and wait. Cannot wait. I just don't like him as an actor. But that's no, why I don't like Matt him. loves Mission Impossible. He will lose his mind. But he's never seen a 007 movie. Right. I can't explain. I can't explain wild? it. He's never I can't seen explain it. Wild. But I love Mission Impossible. I think I might mm-hmm. like Mission Impossible if it was like 007 and they changed actors. <laughs> No, it's I great. I think that's one of it the reasons It is so great. <laughs> my, my favorite Mission Impossible is still Ghost Protocol. Ghost Protocol is the best one. It's the best one. 
but I can't wait for the new one. I'm so excited for it. We're like that Spider-Man meme. We're just pointing at each point other. Like, hey, yeah, it's the hey, same hey, thing. Hey. Ghost Protocol. It's the best. Yeah. But but you know, what Rogue Nation was really good and it's got a really good opera scene. I'll tell you, I love Tom Cruise. Like I don't he's a guilty pleasure of mine, right? Like I know that That's there's a, a good way to put him, guilty pleasure. I'm not I'm not going to say that he's the best actor or anything, right? Yeah, nice butt. But here's the deal, yeah. right? Here's the deal. <laughs> Any, anybody that actor. doesn't like Way him, like I, th- this is not a conversation to try to sway you. This is just, or me even defending it. This is, I just like this this topic of conversation. So when it comes up, I usually try to chime in. Tom Cruise to me is is a dying breed. He's not an actor really, although I have liked him in Magnolia. I thought he was a really good. I thought he did a really good job in Magnolia, uh, and then a couple other things. But he's a movie star. And they don't really have a lot of movie stars anymore. That's a good, that's a good point. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's Tom Cruise. Like, if he walked into a room, like, zoom. And I know that there's a lot of actors that that would happen to, but, like, he's kind of otherworldly. Not because he's, like, the best actor, but he's just kind of this old school movie star that they don't really make anymore. No, I think case in point, we just said Gary Oldman, Sirius Black. If he walked into a room, half the people would say, it's Sirius Black. Right. Every 100% of the people Tom Cruise walks into the room, they say, right. it's Tom Cruise. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. I like right. It. And there's not a lot of people like that, like a true, like, leading yeah, man, yeah. you know, for, for better or worse, you know. For better or worse. Yeah. So I I have to, and I respect all the hard work that he puts that's in. Really, that's cool. I haven't yeah. thought of it like that. That's a good point. <clears throat> all right. So, so is that the reason that you like the Mission Impossible? No, they're just great movies. No, they're just great movies. They're just and, great and, movies. Well, here's the deal. Like, one, one, like one, well, one movie. was very espionage, and it was very Mission Impossible. Two was John Woo, and just, just completely different and very action-y. I thought three was John Woo. No, number two is John Woo. Oh, that's right. That's right. The motorcycles. Right. And, yeah. Yeah. And, the, so, and it was just so different. Yeah. Number three was kind of a blend of both, and it had a really good bad guy, which was Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes. Then you get to four, which is uh, Ghost Protocol. Four, uh, five, six, five seven. Five is good, too. Like, five has the best. Best live action stunt you will ever see. He strapped himself to a uh, plane as it takes off. It's not a stunt. It's not a blue screen, and it's real. And they show it in one shot. And it's one, my my brother says five is the best. Yeah, there was that one shot. They're just best opening shot. They, the, 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 they are actually a lot like the newer James Bond movies uh, with Daniel Craig. They're, they're actually they're very similar. They're kind of high octane, lots of action, a lot of like born identity type of stuff. Like whenever he, like he's convincing me to watch the movies for the movies and not for Tom Cruise. You, he's talking I, to I the audience. Agree, I, wait, I would agree with what Mikey's saying. I think he's you should talking watch to him. the audience through your eyes. I will try eyes. to convince myself to watch. I, them. Here's the thing. <laughs> Mission I'll Impossible has first time, seven I've out right seen. now. Seven yeah, movies out. Seven. seven movies out right now. And the thing is, I know Fast and Furious has like eight or nine right nine. now. Nine. Okay. But the thing is, though, Fast and Furious, it, it's fluff. I enjoy another, it. It's that's fluff. another guilty pleasure of mine. I love it's it. It's fluff. I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. But it also, kind of insults mm-hmm. the audience a little bit at times. And I don't feel Mission Impossible does. I will watch no, I, Fast and Furious all day long. That's great. That's a great point because fast, at least the scripts with the Mission Impossibles are smart. They're smartly done. Like yeah, there's they always keep a mission in the audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and by the end of it, like there's because he works with a team and just like we're making up teams now. There's like an espionage guy, you know, uh, an explosives person, yeah. all this type of stuff. And so there's always something towards the end that you didn't see. Like that, like you're watching the movie and then how they finish it. You know, they end, they kind of go back and show you kind of what happened and they put all the pieces together kind of like Sherlock Mm -hmm. and you're just kind of like oh well that was kind of neat but look I worked at Blockbuster for five years and I right now am a counselor so I all I do all day long is talk with people about processing their life and things that aren't skin deep and I used to be kind of pretentious when it comes to movies because people would come in and they'd be like give me you know Fast and the Furious movies and I'm like why don't you go watch Memento watch Magnolia (laughs) watch these movies that will make you think but as I've gotten (laughs) older I really do value just something where I don't have to think where I can shut yeah. my brain off. It can just popcorn. be a popcorn, popcorn movie, movie, you know, and I don't have to think about it after I leave, you know. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah. that's one of the best movie dates I ever had. I took my mom to see Fast and Furious Eight because it was like her birthday, and she's like, "I want to go see something." I was like, "Let's go throw popcorn at the screen and watch Fast." And, and then they like raced a submarine. Yeah, and it was fantastic. Right. It, it we was had fantastic. The best time Excellent. Our asses off. Excellent. It was great. All right, so number three for y'all. Good. Good picks. Um, Who's, who are we up to now? It was a great... Our action yeah, star now? Yeah, it was now? a great segue. It's a great segue into... 007. Boom. But... <laughs> Which one? Sean Connery. <laughs> of course. Uh, because uh, he could also be 007 and Indy's dad. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. be pretty good. And in the rock. Yes. So Indiana Jones will ride the bike, and he will be in the sidecar shooting guns. I named the dog Indiana. The the last person to escape being canceled. Mm-hmm. I think he was the most debonair. Sean like oh, Sean Connery was the most absolutely most debonair at 007. Absolutely. And just when you tried to convince me that he was a ladies' man, and he was like a gentleman ladies' man. Hey, just he was in the League guy. of Gentlemen. And yeah, 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 legal gentlemen. So that convinced go. me right there. There you go. <laughs> also, good movie. They're extraordinary gentlemen. Sorry, extraordinary gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. And I'm interested to see what they do with the new one. If they go the girl route, or if they go Idris Elba. I don't think they're doing either. But boy, I would love Idris Elba. I would they're love Idris Elba. It. There's no way they're not going to do another 007. Oh no, 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 no! I'm talking about like the they're <laughs> they're, you think they're not going to be another white guy. Yeah. All right. Really? I think as lo- I think as it is sad, but I think and the reason why I say that is because the people that still own the rights, the Broccoli family, mm. and while they still own them, it'll they may do a, a person of color, especially if they're British, mm-hmm. but they'll never do a woman while they still own the rights. I think Gal Gadot should be. Heck yeah! Woman, a good seven. Choice. All right. Really good Wonder choice. Woman almost made my list. She's my, so hot. Mine. She is. <laughs> she is. Like I mean, she just my, is. My, well, my number three is our third crossover. Go ahead and oh. say it. Yippee ki yay! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. John McClane. That's why I said three. Yeah, John McClane. Amazing. Yep, John McClane. I knew he was going to have John oh McClane. I thought he may have Ethan Hunt. So, like, I'm not I saying. Known, look, but yeah. it's not smartest. It's not best or whatever. When no, you're talking is. about like pure action hero, he's the man. He yeah. gets it done. It's just John McClane. He is your Jack Bauer. He'll put his life Arguably on the line. Arguably the greatest pure action movie ever made, Die Hard. I mean, yes, and I'll be honest, yeah. I, I, I've come to appreciate Die Hard two a lot. Well, I didn't Die Hard Christmas three movies, so with I Jeremy Irons. <laughs> Die Hard movies were off the list. I love you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like I, re- I liked you when you first walked in. I really liked you after last week. Uh, Podcast, but after You're that statement right there, uh, I now love you. <laughs> okay, Paul Bettany and now Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, just talking about a Christmas movie, yeah, you know, you know what's up. But yeah, three with Jeremy Irons, great. Four, fantastic too. I really enjoyed four. Four is a great movie. So it, can we go back to? They th- should have made more. Can, well, <laughs> they, they did. Then they had the Die Hard battery commercial, no, which was really good. Me and you and Megan went to go see Part Five, and we walked no, out no, going no, like, no, no, "Yeah, that. No. that was the worst thing ever." No, don't remember Five. I, I wish they'd make a six, only so we could forget about Five. But now they won't. So. Oh, so there's been like a Men in Black moment that I didn't know about, right? Like Apparently, you, you yes. completely forgot Five happened. Die, there is no Five. What are you talking about? Are you talking about the Die Hard commercial, the Die Hard battery commercial? Because that was good. No, I'm talking about the five <laughs> no, times. John McClain was in a Die Hard battery commercial a few yeah. years back for the Super Bowl or something. Great. They, it was like a two minute mini movie. I think mm. better than Mikey's five. Was that, that's Die Hard Five. No, Mikey's no, no, no. talking about that conspiracy theory where they say that there was an Indiana Jones part four, which totally doesn't exist. <laughs> and, uh, okay. That, that never no, no, happened. no, 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 no. So, I'm uh, talking about it's, it's like, a, conspiracy like it's a good day to die hard. I've never heard Something of that. Something like that. I'm talking about the five times you lied to your mom about going to see Enforced Gump <laughs> and actually went to go see <laughs> Die Hard 3. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we're baby. gonna go watch for This no is what idea. he did growing up in All a right. church household. Yeah. He wasn't allowed to go watch rated R movies, but what did he do? We're gonna go watch Forrest Gump. Well, watch Forrest Gump like so many times. <laughs> 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 when I was smart. watching Die Hard with a Vengeance, you're right. I did That's watch why that. he named his child Forrest. And I was like, I was like, this is great. This is great stuff. Mm-hmm. And no, so, no you know, no, my here's my Jeremy Irons impression me. from that movie. Are you ready? Are you ready? Somebody had that, fun. Uh, just this holy, week. what's it say? Holy, holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> had fun. I just watched the movies that made us uh, special on Excellent. Die Hard, and I was so surprised by how much I learned from that. It was great. And those I just, are good little mini. But I mean, I, I I adore that movie no matter what. And we got to see it two years ago in the movie theater. Yeah, and it yeah was it's fantastic great. Fantastic. Hans, booby. <laughs> It holds up. It'll always it hold really up. It really does. It does. And, and it it's does. because in, in, the, in the movies that made us special bits, too, they talk about how much of it is real. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. so many things they would have absolutely CG'd, no question, would have even tried it. It was so dangerous. And they and that final scene in the first movie, yeah. they had to do in, like, 15, 20 minutes yeah. in one but, take? Like, what? And, and it's insane. still popular today. How popular? Three years ago? Three years ago, I was at a wedding. And it's a younger, I mean, this is like, you know, mid-20s, yeah. early 20s couple. And I look over at his cake, the groom's cake, and I went, 
what? And so I started asking people, I said, I'm sorry, does that look like the Nakatomi Tower to you? And no one at the party was like, <laughs> no, I don't know wasn't. what that means. I don't know what that means. And I was like, and I told Meg, I said, that looks like the Nakatomi Tower. She went, what's the Nakatomi Tower? I was like, from Die Hard. And I was like, I said, but it can't be because this guy is 24. And he hasn't even grown into his beard yet. And so I walked up to the cast. Hey, dude. And he said, hey, man, thanks for coming. I said, yeah. I said, I got a question. I said, am I looking at the Nakatomi Tower over there? He went, I love Die Hard. I was like, what? Because that's his, amazing now. Because that movie is back cake. in the 80s wow. that he knows it and loves it so much. It's definitely getting He a made it his groom's cake. And I was like. As a Christmas movie. I know. Yeah. And the thing is. It was the groom that was falling down. No, I'm kidding for the uh, <laughs> for the time. Did they blow up the top of the cake at the wedding? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's great. There was a big that heist in it. But anyway, all right. So I knew that was going to be our another quail server. All right. So number two, uh, Katniss Everdeen, because she can kill you from afar, and <laughs> and is she archer. is never afraid to die. Like she will die at any moment. Fearless. And like. Can you always say that about your enemy? That they are ready to die? Because she's ready to die anytime. She's fearless. Bring it. Okay. I... No, we don't have anything for that one. So good pick. There's no argument. Because <laughs> she's awesome. Again, you thought. <laughs> oh. And she can sing. All right. All right. So now. She can sing the little lullaby thing. There you go. All right. <laughs> I, we're, I, I, it's funny that y'all have your own perfect little team here, and we're we're here <laughs> guessing each other's. This is wild. Back to back. Now, this one we will not have. If we do, then I've blown up your bracket. Because <laughs> you said three crossover. And, and we're, we're, one, at, we're at three crossovers right now. We're at now. three. And there's one that I was a maybe on. So mm-hmm. here we go. Jackie Chan. No. Oh. Okay. That was a maybe that on. That was a great pick. But, but what, Jackie Chan. But what character? Oh, let me. I got to go with my favorite is Super Cop. Jackie okay. Chan's which, like is, Tom which is. Which is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Now you're right. Jackie Chan. You're right. For yeah. pure Jackie Chan fans, it's actually Super Cop 4 is the, is the U.S. version we right. saw. It's the fourth movie. Um, but Super Cop, uh, well, it doesn't matter well, if you want to say Well, best Jackie Chan movie, in my opinion, Legend of Drunken Master. It's great. It's uh, great. As far as him and his uh, karate. But Rumble in the Bronx will always be one of my favorites because that was Bronx, the one that brought him across seas. First Strike. Uh, who am I? Oh, who am I? Dude, I had crazy legs. Oh, that's great. There's this dude at the Pretty end of that movie. They're, they're like, Pro- Project A. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blow your mind. They're, they're, so he good. fights a girl with high heels with he deadly stilettos. This so is good. great. No, so I knew good. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. All right. I love Jackie Chan so much. I love does Jackie Chan. Single, does every single one of his movies have the blooper reel where he's messing Most up? Most of them. A lot of them do. Yeah, a lot of the later ones. The earlier yeah. ones did not, but a lot of the later ones do. So if I were to watch one Jackie Chan movie and that's all I was going to watch, which one should Shanghai I? Shanghai Noon. I'm kidding. Um, that's a great movie, though. It's a great movie. It is not. And, I'm going to say... And, and the deleted scene from Shanghai Nights, the blooper reel, is hilarious. Yes, it is. So for me, if you're looking for something just to like introduce you to, to, like, Jackie, to Jackie Chan, that's an easy watch. I would Rumble, say Rumble in the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx. Now, if you want something Run more, Run with the Bronx. Rumble, Rumble in the Bronx. It was now, 1995. Because he, he does some Rumble. amazing stunts. Now, mm-hmm. if you if you if you're into more American, because that was a, a foreign movie that was dubbed. Mm-hmm. If you want something American, then Rush Hour. Yeah, Rush Hour. You ever yeah. seen Rush Hour? Rush no, Hour but I did see Around the World in 80 Days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, well, okay. No, so but, yeah, so the one that I said was was but, kind of okay. Like a, do you like Chris Tucker? No. Do you, uh, oh wait, hold on. Do, do you, you like, like him Shang, in Shang uh, Shang 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 Fifth Element? Yeah, yeah. Shang, yeah. He was really Shang good in Fifth Element. Shang Shang Wilson. Do you like Owen Wilson? Yeah. Owen Wilson. Shanghai Noon. Shanghai Noon. Let's try Shanghai Noon. It's a western. Yeah, it's a western. Western comedy. Uno Mas. Terrible cowboy. There are too many western comedies. All right. All right, what's and your most number? Of them are mediocre. What's your number two, Mikey? Um, well, I could either say this one or I could say that one. Um, I'm gonna say this one and I'm gonna leave <laughs> that other one for the end. Um, I don't think I would have put this on the list if I had not had a conversation with you beforehand. Uh-oh. But after thinking about it, and you brought this person to my attention, I thought, you know what? If I'm assembling a team. To your yes, point, yes. then everybody needs to have their have to role. Have a leader and a role, uh-huh. right? Fulfilled. So I'm going to go with Baby from Baby Driver. <gasps> oh, we 
just talked about, baby, like two, three yeah. weeks ago on Saturday morning. <laughs> because yeah. he... It's a great pick. He's still on my list of movies to watch. So, right, so he asked me earlier something about Baby Driver, and I was like, do you not remember uh, when we, back five years ago in 2017, we did our top movies, top five movies of, of 2017. Of the year, okay. And both of our number ones was well, Baby, Baby Driver, because it's one of my... one of the decade. It is one of my favorite movies of the decade, by far. I need There's to watch number it, one of the Lily James too. is one of my favorite actresses right now. Right. It's phenomenal it, in every way. It it is. It's the it's, most amazing. It's one of these movie. pitch perfect movies where everything everything pieces together. Mm-hmm. Every every little bit, every every word, every piece of cinematography, camera stop, every yeah, all the music, it's all pieced together to one flow. And it gives and I need you to go to the end to it, listen to the music. Oh well, yeah, because I talked about how even in the end credits, the mm-hmm. music that's playing it gives an answer to one of the questions in the movie. Right. Which I didn't know until we were getting them to leave. I was like, shut up. And, and Megan didn't get it. I was like, listen to the like song. the third time on Saturday morning semifinals that we, Matt has had to withhold because he doesn't want to ruin it. I anything. don't want to ruin it. So, it's just incredible. Yeah. It, it's an incredible movie. Okay, I'll have to watch Normally it. we go all spoilers on this podcast, but I appreciate I can't, you I can't. holding it it's, back. It is I'll really. let you know when do, I watch do you know who, and then we can have Do you know time. who Edgar we'll Wright is? driver here. Edgar Wright. Okay. Do you know who that is? No. He's the writer and director of this movie. He okay. also wrote and direct Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, um, okay. Fuzz is At World's End. Uh, but this one isn't as comedic as those other No, no, ones. no. It, yeah, it's very serious, but this it has... more serious. Um, a- it's action. Some comedy in it. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. What's number... That's a cool pick. I like yeah. that. Who were you waffling between? On the well, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's get, that's his other oh, one. Is that number one? No, that yeah. was, no, 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 no. I have one left. He has one oh, left. Okay. So, yeah. what's your last one? Then we'll get to his. Well, the only one that I had written down for my brute with a uh, brute strength was Fessick from uh, uh, Princess Bride. That was my <laughs> nice. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> want a peanut? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that's my brute. That was the one that came to mind first, to be honest. Oh, like, he has like, such a soft heart, uh, though. Could he really? I mean, could he really yeah, hurt somebody? Now there, you wish you would have put Hulk Hogan from Suburban well, Commando, well, don't mine, you? It's not really a crosser, but I put the Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> no, I no, am no, the Dread Pirate Roberts. No, I didn't put that one in. That's a good pick. That was, good. That was great. All, All right, right who so do you have for the for your brute then? Or your it's final? not my. It's my. It's uh, my intergalactic genius. Oh, who's that? Spock. Mr. Oh, there you go. Spock yeah, himself. no, that's, that makes sense. My, well, my intergalactic favorite. genius. Intergalactic. Though. Intergalactic. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Vulcan butt. And he can communicate with anyone. <laughs> Have you seen that butt? Have you seen it's the new? Have you All seen right. the new Star Trek? So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and congratulate you. That's back to back. Oh. Back to back. Oh. Yes. I know you don't have this one. Mm-hmm. My number one is John Wick. Nice. Um, I, I really guess that. love those movies with all my that. heart. Uh, I think I honestly think Keanu Reeves is excellent, and he can kill anyone in real life. It's amazing. <laughs> he, he does his own stunts. I think Keanu Reeves is so weird. <laughs> he does his own stunts. It is fantastic. He is the ultimate. In fact, three was so enjoyable. So Lake House was so like one enjoyable. Of your favorite films. <laughs> I watch Lake House, and I'll watch it again. I'll watch any Keanu Sweet Reeves. Sweet November. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it. I'm not I'm not, I'm not I like shy. Keanu Reeves. I like actually like Keanu Reeves as a person. Everything Bill that I've Ted's ever read about him is he's better than watch, Excellent Adventure. Always, Fight me. You need to watch mm-hmm. Always Be My Maybe on Netflix. Mm-hmm. He's in it ironically. Mm-hmm. And it's really funny. Keanu Reeves. It's great. He's, he's in this like really up and coming restaurant. Great. Constantine. With, like, weird people and he walks in there with like it's really funny. You need to watch it just great. for Scanner him. Darkly. I mean, uh, come on. All day. And Johnny Mnemonic. Johnny Mnemonic. Good one. The Matrix. The Matrix. I only I watched the first one. I watched started watching the second one, and I said, mm. "You can watch you're, the second you're, one. You're good. You you're can good. stop at the third one. And You'll have a better life." I you. wish they would have made a fourth one. I know it would have been. Really nice. wish so. I think they would have been nice <laughs> if they'd have made a f- fourth one. <laughs> As your eye twitches. Oh, oh boy. Anyway, but I watched it because so it was Keanu Reeves, but it was not good. All right, so you're the, yeah. what's number one? Congratulations, because it's not Boom. Boom. Yeah. 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 No, no, my number one is Frank Dukes. It's Jean-Claude Van Damme Frank from Bloodsport. <laughs> from Bloodsport, oh, baby. How did we not get Jean-Claude Should Van Damme? have gotten Boom. that. Kumate. Ow. Kumate. 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 Yes. yes. How did we not get that? 
Matt wants mm. to completely reassemble. I should, no, 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 I don't, but I should have known. Mm. Oh. There is no other person that would have been number one on his list. None. 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 Man. None. No way. For maybe the author. Yeah. Maybe. From Mom. Yes. Maybe. And then there's Mom. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway. she should have been on my action heroes for TV. Tell she should have been. Yeah. Why? Why? why, why, why no. Tell us, no. Tell no. us more. Why he's your number one? Well, I don't have to convince me. Yeah. Just no. Tell me more. So I grew up just loving Jean Claude Van Damme, watching you know all of his movies on TBS and TNT, yeah. watching some blood sports, some kickboxer, some cyborg, some Double Impact. <sighs> Double Impact was always my favorite because he played twins, you know. And then there was <laughs> yeah. there was Lionheart and Nowhere to Run and Universal Soldier. Uh, then we had The Quest, which was kind of like you know Bloodsport eight years later, really good movie. Street Fighter, as cheesy as it was and oh as horrible God. as he was, I just grew up loving it because I love video games. So. Uh, yeah, I love Van Damme. I went back recently on my Plex server and tried to find every... I, I IMDB'd him in every single movie that he's ever been in, which were, and the ones before uh, Bloodsport. Mm -hmm. There were black... There was like Black Eagle, No Retreat, No Surrender. But there were a few, uh, one called Rhubar Bar, one called Monaco Forever. Just these little bit things. One of them, he plays like a, a guy driving a... A gay guy driving, driving a convertible. And he's not even... You know, this it's a movie about somebody else and the dude's hitchhiking and he gets in his car and Van Damme's all speaking like, you know, whatever to him, yada, yada, yada. Then he like puts his hand on his thigh or whatever and the guy freaks out, ooh, like runs on the beach and like Van Damme like... <laughs> <laughs> and then leaves. And I just love it, you know? And then he's in Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo. If you look in the background, he's in like this little like leotard onesie like dancing. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, I've seen the gif of him yeah, yeah, yeah. doing that. Yeah. So I have researched everything. Thank God for the internet because back in the day, you know, we would have to go to the local video stores and try to find these. Man. I wore up my VCR so much I had to turn it on its side to get it to play Street Fighter because oh, I love Van Damme. We word. would get out in the yard and try to do the split kicks. Now, I never could do that, but I had a good friend of mine, one of my best friends, Chris Highsmith on this planet who took karate and he could do the split kicks. And we what? used to just quote, yeah, I mean, he could he would do the splits in between two chairs. He could jump up and do, you know, hard target. How could I forget hard target? Chance Boudreaux. <laughs> He's an endless vat of knowledge here. I, I just love Van Damme, you know. So that, that Super Bowl commercial when he did the splits. Between the two trucks? Between the trucks was yeah. like the greatest Super Bowl commercial ever. Or it was pretty darn good. Yeah. I loved so, it. And, uh, good pick. Yeah, then later on, there's a show, right, from a couple years ago, maybe three, four, five years ago. It was a six-episode show on Amazon called Jean-Claude Van Johnson. Have you ever seen it, heard of it? Oh, you, yeah. it? It was the most brilliant show because he played himself. Okay. And what it was trying to say was that, you know, everything that had happened in his life was real. He was a cheesy action star. Oh, he really was that guy. He really was that guy, but that was just a cover because he's actually always just been like a spy working for like the CIA. No. And so he will make cheesy action movies to infiltrate to like stop some crime that you never knew about. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. It is. It I is. Love it. it is a phenomenal way for him to, it's just like Michael Bolton. Like there's a lot of people out Michael. there. Hold on. Look, there's a connection here. Listen to me. Uh, Hold your applause yes, until yes. the end. Hold it. So <laughs> and I know that here we are in our conversation where Michael Bolton. Gets I know that they just kind of skipped a beat, but right, what what happens is there's people out there that really take themselves too seriously, mm. and when they take the older people that were popular that take themselves too seriously, like a John Malkovich or something like that, and you just don't hear from them anymore, right? People like Michael Bolton, people like Jean Claude Van Damme, they allowed themselves to laugh at themselves, uh -huh. to be right. a part of the the right. meme world and the joke world, and they became more popular because of it. Like people, like they they stayed relevant, I guess I should yeah. say, because of it, and people grew to love them of this generation as to the, like watch them fade away, and so he at first didn't do that, but then he started to do that, and uh, you know that's why he's still well, kind of relevant. I wonder what changed with that. Well, clearly the fact that his spy cover was blown and it was so he had to really embrace it after that he had to <laughs> okay <laughs> fantastic are we, are we rounded out now that's it we've rounded it out there that's good he wins again that's good uh, you do win again i don't think we should back to back, back picks next saturday morning sample flange